This is Dr. Janowski for Sonata Laser Aesthetics. Today I want to talk to you about the most common fears and concerns that people have with regard to getting Botox fillers and laser treatments. Concern number one, I won't look natural. This is generally concerned with fillers because we see on TV that people get over-injected Hollywood stars look unnatural and it's only normal to think that this could be something that could happen to you. Well, I'm very conservative with fillers. The goal with fillers is to look natural when you're done so that people think that you look better, but they don't know why. They shouldn't be able to point to you and say, hey, what happened to your lips? What happened to your cheeks? They should never be overdone. If anything, we underdo them, and we can always add later. Remember also that fillers are reversible. If there's something you don't like, I can generally bring it down and can correct it, although that is very rarely needed. For the most part, the kinds of fillers we use are completely uh, erasable so that you're never stuck with something that you don't like. Uh, Botox users are often concerned about drooping or dropping of the forehead or the brows. Mm -hmm. This is very rare uh, but can be minimized by reducing the amount of forehead Botox that we put in. That's where the drooping and the dropping occurs and it's extremely rare but if it does occur it usually lasts for a few weeks. It's quite mild and usually the only person to notice it is the patient themselves, not other people. So generally this is not a concern. Number three, bruising. Yes, bruising can occur, but I use techniques to really minimize this, this uh, problem. The main way we minimize bruising with fillers is I use something called a micro cannula. This is a small blunt instrument that is used to inject the filler without cutting through blood vessels. It actually hurts less, there's hardly any recovery, and bruising is minimized because we, we don't pierce blood vessels during the treatment. It also tends to lay the filler down much more smoothly. So many uh, injectors do not use blunt cannulas, but I do. It's an advanced way of injecting and very specialized, and this will give you a much better result without concerns of recovery. Often filler patients have minimal to no recovery at all. People are often concerned about the recovery after a laser, that they will look burned, etc. There is some recovery of a light sunburn-like effect with some peeling, but usually it's limited to about three to five days. It's quite mild and will disappear over that uh, few days, and people can go back to whatever they were doing. So often the laser recovery is not nearly as bad or as dramatic as people imagine. I do have another video about uh, lasers, and we take a patient through the entire experience, and I recommend that you watch that to see what it's like to go through a laser procedure. It's really not nearly as bad as you think. So these are the most common issues that we run into and I talk you through all these things and make sure that you know what to expect before, during, and after your procedure. And we have very happy clients who come back time and again because they feel that it was much easier than they imagined. So we look